luck and happenstance and timing is always important for anybody, but I ended up uh, getting an interview at what was going to become MTV. And they said, yeah, we're looking for people with no experience in TV. <laughs> I said, I'm your man. And I'm an entrepreneur. So they hired me, and I was like number five hired there, and I stayed for what turned out to be... 26 years, you know, with Nickelodeon, Comedy Central, and so on. But it yeah. was a great run. Let's talk about the kind of the idea behind MTV when you started. Like when you were first brought in, what was the what was the mission? What was the mandate? What was the what was the we hear culture a lot. Like what is what was the culture the culture of a business? We hear that from people. But let's talk about what it was back then. Well, back then, I mean, it's hard to imagine. It was a startup essentially. Even though we had two parents, Warner Communications and American Express, they didn't know where we even were. Right. We were in hotel rooms eating pizza, like your normal startup of today. But the idea was, there's this new medium called cable TV. There's a wire going into people's homes. They only get four channels now, and we're going to add specialized channels. They called it narrow casting. So the idea behind MTV was simple. Hey, there's, there's two things that the baby boomers love. They love music, they love television. We're going to put it together in a new way. We're going to use the music video, which was a program form that was sort of new to the U.S. I had known about it. And uh, we're going to do that, and then we're going to launch a children's network, and we're going to launch all these specialized channels. And it was like having a front seat at the beginning of the... Uh, video revolution, which we all think about nowadays as digital, but in, it was analog, was, was fun too. I yeah. mean, it, does, it's, it sort of begat a lot of change, and we've seen well that, where that's all ended up as of today.